Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick video to show you the CXC proposed topics for your EDPM exam and to let you know what has been steering my um, past paper selection that you have been seeing since last week. Now before me or before us is a listing of the proposed topics that will be coming in the EDPM paper 2 and paper 3 exams. All right, um, it starts off by saying, for number one, candidates must be familiar with creating documents using the following software programs, word processing, spreadsheet, and database management. Now, that those have been broken down to facilitate part two, candidates must be familiar with the following, letters and memorandum layouts. All right. Now, I have done intense topics on almost all that you I will be discussing right now. However, as it relates to um, persons asking me with, about working past paper questions, I have been steering my um, past paper questions to facilitate these topics here. So, so far, I have done a, two past paper questions on letters and one on memorandum. All right. I will maybe choose to do another on memorandum in a different layout. So I may do another memorandum video along with the letter. I think I've done a semi-block letter. I've done a block style letter. And so I may do another video showing an indented style letter. All right. And it says that we should know all the layouts. Okay. So I'm trying to find questions to facilitate these topics. Okay. It also goes to displays. Now under the topic displays, you have simple displays and you have advanced displays. All right. On the simple display, you will see your invitation with menus. You may see programs, right? And um, you may see your brochures, etc. Okay. So I am trying throughout this week to work questions that I can find as it relates to displays. On the advanced display, you will have like flow charts organizational charts etc all right so i'm trying to see how best i can work a question on each of those topics to assist you but please do not forget that i have done uh, intense topics on all of these right videos on all of these rather and so you can go to my youtube channel earlier here so you can browse through the channel to look for topics that speak to each of these and watch them and watch the examples that are there if it is that I may not get to a past paper question on a specific topic, although I'm trying my best to do so. It then moves to tabular work. When we speak of tabular work, we speak about table, doing tables in Microsoft Word, doing tables in uh, Microsoft Excel. So it speaks about um, spreadsheet for the most part. I have videos on tabular work, and so far I've worked, I think, two spreadsheet questions to assist. All right? Um, it speaks now about insertion of graphics. Okay, so you'll see graphics being inserted when you're doing any of the documents that you need to do. In a display work, um, you will um, need to insert graphics there. All right, so you will see that coming out in, in various documents that you create. Okay, uh, manuscript signs. Again, what I try to do with the videos before I just show you what the document looks like is that I try my best to go through the question and for us to interpret all manuscript signs that are there to know what they are and what we are required to do before I start my typing. So that will give you a chance to see the various manuscript signs. I am not remembering now if I've done a video on manuscript signs, but by me going through the past papers and looking at the manuscript signs that are there, you will get an appreciation of the various signs. All right, next they speak of creating charts. All right, this is done in spreadsheets. And so when you watch the spreadsheet videos, or um, you'll see me creating charts there to give an idea of how you go about creating your charts. And then finally speaks about creating and manipulating databases. All right. This is a topic that is not normally on the EDPM exam. Okay. But um, I found one past paper question, a, a paper three question on it. And so I have... Um, done a comprehensive overview of databases as well as I have done work that one question that I found 
on the topic database. So that should give you an appreciation for this aspect. And that should complete it. All right, if I, or if we should move over to the paper three questions, those will be very similar to what is here for paper three. All right, similar. Yeah, almost the same. Basically, it's the same thing that is there. All right, so, but I would say to you, however, do not limit your studies to these topics only. All right, as the, the multiple choice paper is now expected to have the other topics that may not be shown. All right, and so do not limit your study to only these topics. Study everything because we don't know. All right, so do hope you get an understanding. Although I think you would have known this information already, but I just wanted to put it out there for you to know what is guiding my thought process as it relates to the questions, the past paper questions that I'm trying to put out for you to, to see. All right, basically I'm using these topics to get questions. I'm not going into other topics that is not here as it relates to past papers. All right, let me wish you all the best for your exam. All right, and thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video as I try to make each and every time EDPM simple. Bye-bye.